since the release of your first album, a lot of things have happened. Um, what are your thoughts on that on the previous few years? <laughs> well, yeah, that goes by so quickly. And also how different the world feels in three years' time. Like, you know, we released an album and um, under Obama <laughs> and um, Cameron in England, which was not so good. And now we have like Donald Trump, Brexit and Theresa May. So not great. And a lot of Couple famous of people that we love died. Yeah. Prince, Bowie. Everyone. Uh, Rickman. Rickman. Uh, who else? There's quite a few. It's just, I don't know, I wonder if it's something that's quite interesting to be making music in a, you know, in such a time as this one. Um, I guess that's been a huge difference. What, what, how did you stay grounded the last few years? Oh, uh, it's, it's not been a problem. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I'm upper ground, but um, it's, I don't know, it's more a question for you, I would say. Um, well, I guess w touring is such a whirlwind and you're in different places every day, but then when it ends, you have to adjust back to normal life. So that's always a bit of a challenge. But um, I guess for me, I I have like a, a friendship group that I've had for about nearly two decades. So I uh, always feel like they keep me grounded because, you know, I'm just, I'm just Ollie. I'm not, you know, Ollie from years and years to them. So... Um, well, well, you said uh, the world has changed a lot. Um, when did you start writing songs for this album? Do you still recall the first real starting point for this album? Yeah, it was about towards the end of 2016. Started writing some bits of music and um, putting, making demos, and then and then 2017 was kind of right from the beginning of the year. We started writing and recording, and the process kind of took all year really uh, in different kind of different plate, like some in LA, some in most of it in London um, and yeah it was like we made so many songs like too many songs in a way and then it became really difficult to like figure out which ones we wanted to put on the album and but eventually it all fell into place but it just takes time you know well you, well, you said it, it fell into place what 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 was the first song that you thought well this song is definitely gonna be up uh, on the album maybe Sanctify was yes. I think we wanted it to be the first single and then it was <laughs> Yeah, it just sounded like really new and cool. Fresh. 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 What, what, what did sound new and fresh? Do you, do you know? Can you explain That's a bit more? That's hard to pinpoint, isn't it? Me, oh. I think it was, an, for us, we wanted to like come back with Sanctify because it felt like um, it was quite different to our music before. And um, I really loved the message of the song and the lyrics. And it had a bit more of a kind of R&B vibe to it. Um, but actually every song on this album, on the new album, is quite different from each other. So that's been really exciting to, to sort of let people see that um, as we were releasing more music because they're all very different. The songs. Once, once, once a song uh, was done, did you know this is going to be up on, on the album? Or? I think with Sanctify yeah, we did. But with a lot of other songs we didn't know. <laughs> no, it was a lot of... So many songs. We went... But I think most of them made it that we wanted to. Yeah, I think so. And what, what, uh, well, well, you said the world has changed a lot. What, what of those changes um, did influence the album? Um, I don't know. I mean, personally, I felt like, you know, I'm someone that speaks a lot about my sexuality and mental health. And, you know, it feels like now, especially we're in a time where people are really speaking out on the issues that they believe in. And that's for lots of different reasons. But for me, I felt like the Pulse shooting was like a really big uh, in Orlando. The nightclub was like a really big moment. And, you know, it just made me you know, remember how, you know, how much queer people's lives are in danger, you know. And I think as a gay songwriter like I felt kind of more sort of encouraged like I felt like it, it gave me more kind of like confidence to, to, to really sort of like write about my own personal truth I guess um, because there's not that many of us out there you know making music so I felt like yeah it kind of pushed me to be a bit bolder I suppose I is, there, is there one, one song you say well this is for me this is really uh, something special because it really I really succeeded in, 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 in writing out to be honest, I don't know, all of the songs, each song is it feels like a real, ch like a challenge, you know, so then when it's done, like, I'm 
I feel like really, I don't know, each song I feel very like satisfied with, so I, I don't know if I can really even pick one. Do you know one that you say, well, when, when, when he wrote the lyrics, I thought, well, this is a clear message and this is the way that you actually uh, yeah, you it's talk about the album. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. What, which one? DNA. 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 Yeah. Uh, but hopefully it'll be released soon. Okay. I thought it was a, 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 a real departure for Holly as a, as a lyricist because it was about something that he I've never heard him write about before, and in a fairly explicit way. It wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't about. It was about. Well, it wasn't about sex or anything. It was something. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't about hand jobs. Um, <laughs> lol. Uh, and I thought it was. It was. It was a really mature song, but I don't mean mature in a boring way. That's nice. um, but yeah, it's not on the album. <laughs> <laughs> but what is for you? If, um, <laughs> do you know why he says this this song? Do you know why? Yeah, I think so. I think it's probably yeah, it's probably. I normally write songs about relationships. I think, uh, and then this specific song Emery was talking about was a bit more about my childhood. Maybe or sort of me reflecting on the past. Um, and that song is really. I really love that song. It will come out at some point. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll bring it out to you. Can you explain a bit more? What, what what did you write about your childhood? What, what you have to what, wait. Okay. <laughs> you you don't want to share. It. No. No. Okay. It's good. Um, is there is there another song that you like that you say? Well, this is the way that when 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 he wrote the lyrics, I thought, well, this is something 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 new. <laughs> when sorry, um, a song that he wrote. You say, well, when I when I read the lyrics, I thought, well, this is something well an, an, a new step. For I him. do like the lyrics for Karma, which is the song you'll hear when the album's out. But yeah, I'm not the best person to ask for lyrics, because I, I don't know. I, it's weird, when you I listen to are. songs, I like listen to... The bass. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just the bass. <laughs> but it's not my like, it's weird. I, I think that something's wrong with me, because it's not the first thing I go to. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, um, yeah so, but I'm going to, yeah, Karma, I really like those lyrics. Is that what is that what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes, that's what you're saying. And then for you, music-wise, when they uh, what 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 were for you the first songs that you say? Well, now we're going to a, a new a new a new musical direction. When what what they came up with? Probably sanctify because that was the drum. It felt like the drum loop was very Tim Timberland kind of Missy Elliott inspired, and we haven't really done that kind of beat before. Um, and we stripped down the whole track to kind of be more of like a tribal uh, vibe and that felt like a departure from what we've done previously which felt you know more kind of in the synth pop world um, and yeah. when you when you when you when you made the music for this song did you think well this is yeah we are getting somewhere for, for sanctify. sanctify yeah uh, well uh, I think no because I think what, what did we think we I remember Oli was already in LA writing this and then me and Emery flew over and I remember hearing it in the studio and thinking wow this is like sounding incredible like and then yeah just going from there I think so yeah I think wait now I lost myself what was the question <laughs> <laughs> sanctify music yeah it was a good direction I thought is, 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 is the answer <laughs> uh, last question the, the, the album title who came up with it and what inspired it uh, so the title Palo Santo is actually the f one of the first songs that uh, came about for the album and initially it was just going to be a song on the album called Palo Santo and, and I um, came across this stick of wood. So Palo Santo literally translates to holy wood and it's like a stick of wood that you burn and it's a bit like sandalwood and it s smells nice and it's sort of traditionally meant to cleanse your space of evil spirits, negative energy and I became quite fascinated by that as a sort of metaphor for lots of different things like for songwriting or for you know burning something to kind of like cleanse you know previous relationships or like previous whatever and um, I it wasn't until towards the end of the process when our, actually our manager said you should call the album Palo Santo because you know we wanted a name for this fictional universe that was going to go along with all the music with all the music videos and uh, so we were like yeah we'll call it Palo Santo and it just felt like it all yeah it all made sense all tied together Thank you for your time. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks.